We've looked at Euler's method. We just got through looking at slope fields. And this is another way to try to find solutions to differential equations. It's called separation of variables, which is exactly what it sounds like. You separate the variables and then you integrate both sides. So that's what it says here. The last sec section, we use slope fields to try to be able to see a solution curve. And we want to try to now, how, how could we solve differential equations analytically? So if we have this example, our differential equation, change in y over change in x is negative x over y. If I look at the slope field of this, and again, you, you should think about why does the slope field look like this? Well, if, if I look at x equals 1 and y equals 1, then I would have a negative 1 for my slope, right? x is 1, y is 1, so I'd have negative 1 over 1, negative 1. But by looking at this, we can see that if I just threw it in a slope field, that the solution would looks like circles. Right? So in other words, a solution to this differential equation would be x squared plus y squared equals some constant. And we can check this by differentiation. So separation of variables works, as I mentioned in the beginning, by separating the variables. So you put all the x's on one side and you put all the y's on the other side. And of course you move the, notice I multiplied the x on both sides, I multiplied um, y on both sides to move that. And from here, I integrate both sides. So how do we integrate y? That, that's to the first power, so 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1, so y squared over 2. This would be negative x squared over 2 plus some constant. A lot of times students will say, well, why didn't you put plus some constant on this side? Well, they'd cancel out, right? So in other words, whatever that constant is, even if it's different, um, I can move it to this side and I'm only going to end up with one constant. So if I take this and I multiply, when my slides aren't moving, uh-oh, Houston, we have a problem. It's probably going to jump now. Uh-oh, there, it jumped. It was like all messed up. So if I take and I multiply every single term by 2, and move the x squared to the other side. Now this looks exactly like the equation of a circle, right? <clears throat> and I can call this piece right here, it's just two times whatever that constant is. Well, let's just call it a constant. And so with separation of variables, I actually prove that the solution to this differential equation by separating the variables, integrating both sides, ended up being an actual equation for a circle. So let's try to do another one. If I want to derive the general solution of this following differential equation, I once again am going to move all the variables to one side and um, the other variables to the other side. So what I did is I, di I divided both sides by y, which is the same as multiplying by 1 over y. I went ahead and just left this constant on this side, didn't really matter, and then moved the dt to the other side. So now I integrate both sides. I find the antiderivative of 1 over y. I hope you have not forgotten that. And this is just a constant. So that's like 3 dt. So I move the constant out front. You did not forget that 1 over y antiderivative is ln of y. Right, 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 right. And here my constant, once again, would be like 3 dt. So the antiderivative would be 3t. And so whatever this value is. And then, of course, plus c. Now from here, if I want to, you know, try to see, well, I see a log, but I kind of like to see what this actual equation looks like, solve it for y. How do I get y out of here? Remember the e, because it's the same base, ln is base e. So I take e raised to the ln of y. Remember, you have to do that to both sides. And when I do that, my y comes down, okay, so that cancels out. Um, e to the kt plus c is the same as e to the kt times e to the c, right? Because that's my rules of exponents that I can s separate these in multiplication going back, same as addition because they have the same base. This piece right here is just a constant. 
And in your textbook, they label it as A because typically it's an initial amount. Okay, again, it's just a constant, so it doesn't matter. So E to the C became A, and I chunked it out front, and I have my E to the KT. So what I can see here then is this, this change in Y over change in T, where I have some kind of constant times my Y becomes an exponential. If I want to find all the solutions for this piece right here, do the same thing. I'm going to move this y minus a to the other side because that goes with my y's. Move the dt to the other side. Integrate both sides. Um, I kind of do this to remind you about substitution. y minus a is going to be my u. And so if I take the du dy, well, then y is just 1, so it becomes 1 dy. And so thus where I see dy, I simply plug in du. Where I see y minus a, I plug in u. So this is the antiderivative is ln of u, and then plug back in u. So you're good at substitution by now. And then once again, this piece becomes kt plus c. If I go through the same steps and I solve this for y, so I'm doing e on both sides. And this, of course, cancels, so I get my y minus a. I'm going to do that same technique here where I'm going to separate this into multiplication just so I can make uh, my e to the c a constant. So I have my e to the c. I can move my a back to the other side, which I end up doing, and I get this as my general solution. Now, th that, those two examples were probably, what? What did she just do? I'd go over them and be comfortable with them, but what you're going to see in the next section, we're just going to use them. I will never make you derive, go through those steps again, but this is how solution of variables work. But now we're going to actually see if I have something that starts out by looking like this, my differential equation. Now I know, and in other words, this is just some proportional, constant of proportionality. Now I know that my solution that I'll be able to use for making predictions is going to look like that. So this will kind of come together the next section because I'm going to say, remember in the solutions, of, of variables where we actually solve for this. Now we're just going to use it. So those two equations that we found the general solutions, the one was C e to the kt, where we had ky. This one was a plus c to the e kt, where we had k times y minus a. Those need to be on a formula sheet because we're going to use them. So write them down.